What's going on, guys? I'm going to cover some intel that not a lot of people know about about Blue Protocol. Now, don't be and distraught about this. I'm going to explain what this means and why it's still going to be fine in Western society. But let's highlight that because Bandai released their physical results. Um, and what they said was the reason why this guy is saying this. Suggested that Blue Protocol is underperforming for the company. But remember, it's only in Japan. Uh, you can kind of say they're going through the trenches with it. Um, but let's go down a little bit. The performance for mainline titles belonging to the Dragon Ball and One Piece cells remain stable in Japan. Of course. They already have their name everywhere. You know, this is just history. But the new online game titles fell far short of plans. So they want even more ambitious aspects. Like it's basically the expectations that they wanted for it. Um, and I have to tell you right now, there's so many games consistently coming out that it's going to be hard to compete on this market anyways. But that doesn't mean that it's doomed in the West. That just means that only in the Japan base, which is nowhere near as big as Western society, including the Europeans. Um, but the thing is, is that um, when it releases over here, it could be different. Let me explain why. One, first, the reason why they delayed it is because the game was unbalanced. There are some classes that were not on par with other classes. They wanted to optimize it more. And Japan was going to be the place where they could do all that because they know they can be patient. Where society is not as patient as Japan. I think we all know this. <laughs> uh, but it was a good idea that they did that because imagine if they would have released it here. You, you know what I mean? And what would have been the state of it at this current present moment? That's why it's good to delay it out so that you can't have those issues when you put it over here. It's going to be more balanced. There's going to be more content and more optimization and Amazon is helping them with that. So that doesn't mean that the game is going to do bad over here. That just means they're not hitting the financial results that they want it to but it still has a chance over here and I'm excited for this game you know what I mean I like the way that it looks it looks like a true next-gen game that Bandai actually finally put some budget on you know what I mean because sometimes they just don't have high quality super budgeted games but when they do do that their games can turn out to be good another thing they reported and their other fiscal result was that they want to increase their production and development and budget on games going here forth they want to be seen as high quality only, which is good. They need to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But they had a 3.9% increase. You see, that's where they're like, you know, we want to do more than that if we're going to release, you know, a service game. You know how service games can generate a lot. And a decrease of 26.3% year on year. You see, they plan to build an, an optimal and well-balanced title portfolio and strength and development with an emphasis on quality so by seeing that that means also they're going to put more into blue protocol and want the western release to be strong which is why bandai is something to help on because they just need more staff and more support and amazon has all the resources to help them do that so the game still can do very well let's not get in a negative uh, mindset because of that you know what i mean and that's why i wanted to um cover that and this came from right here. You see? But all in all, I didn't play the beta. Um, I didn't get to try anything out, but I have been keeping up with the game updates. And this is something that's not out in the mainstream in front of everyone, so I kind of wanted to cover that for you guys. But uh, keep your thoughts positive, like I said. This is just something to highlight so you can get a sneak peek and see what is it doing in Japan and how is the company looking at it only in Japan remember that always remember that not we released it worldwide and this is the results no you still got so many people to still reach and by the time it gets out over here you know what's the state of that game compared to when you first launched it in Japan what did they have to go through well we're not gonna know that unless we you know find out a certain way where it was at but it doesn't matter what matters is that if it comes over here and it's done well and everyone's happy and the support gets support that it needs so that we can have a game that looks like it's going to be epic definitely for you know our anime loving fans and just you know service MMO JRPG loving fans I mean I've been playing games since the 
90s and JRPGs are my favorite games of all time. Uh, so I want this game to do well. Uh, and I think it has a chance to. But that's just to cover, you know, this news highlight for you guys, because I'm pretty sure you want to know what's going on with that game, and that's why I'm doing it. Uh, so you see certain things people are saying down here. You know, available in more places. Uh, you know, people are going to be like that, but it's not something to, um, you know, really get bent out of shape on. As we know, too, you know, that game could also come to the new Nintendo console, and I think it will. And most of the people that game in Japan do be playing the Nintendo, so it's not over there. I can't play on the Switch, but... Anyways, guys, uh, I hope this intel was good enough for you. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. I will be covering more intel on Blue Protocol for you guys when it comes out. Peace.